and gentlemen, and welcome back to Gregory's vlog. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you some Portuguese and Polish phrases. Okay, now we start with Portuguese. Now, some of the really basic stuff, I'm going to share with you the basic stuff now. Bon dia. Bon dia, which basically translated into English is good morning. Bon dia. Now, there's two ways to say in this next one. Tudo bom? You okay? Tudo bom? You okay? Stage bem? How are you? Uh, how's you? Stas bem. You good, sorry. You good. Um, if you want to say, I'm good, so the sentence you would actually use is Stas bem? Tudo bem, obrigada. So basically, tudo bem, obrigada is, um, I'm good. Thank you. Because obrigada, there's two different meanings. One's feminine, one's masculine. So obrigada would be for a woman, obrigado for a bloke. So, yes. And um, if you want to say good afternoon to someone, boa, oh, actually, um, boa tarde, boa tarde which basically is good afternoon or if you want to say good night boa noite boa noite or you can say hola which means hello hola and if you want to say something formal say como vai você how are you doing today como vai você and uh, they will understand you but there's two different Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese, which is harder to learn. And then there's just Portuguese, the normal Portuguese way. And um, if you're having a conversation with a Spanish person, sometimes they will understand you slightly because it's, it's similar, Portuguese and um, Spanish. That's why they can have a conversation together. Uh, yeah. So, um, there's another one. Ate You what? Ate means uh, see you tomorrow. And uh, another one. Shavai jimbona. You go home. And if they say now, that means no. Uh, so yeah. And um. Ciao is goodbye in uh, Portuguese because you've got the Italian version ciao which is hello but we won't be doing that because I don't really I don't know any Italian Portuguese is Portuguese is one of the nicest languages and uh, to I love it because um I got taught a lot of Portuguese because I, when I was at the Four Pillars Hotel, there were a couple of Portuguese chefs and Portuguese housekeepers, and I worked for the Portuguese in the restaurant as well. So, um, yeah, it was, that's how I managed to learn it, and also I had to learn it because I went to Portugal as well. So, um, yeah, that's why I learned it as well. So, all good. Right. Next one, Polish. Now this one's hard because I only learned a few phrases in Polish. If you want to say hello to someone, cześć, cześć. And um, then if you want to say how are you, jak szumasz, jak szumasz. And then uh, if you want to say good, Dobrze. Cześć. Jak się masz? Dobrze. Hello. How are you? I'm good. 
Ate. Um, I'm trying to think. Cześć, jak się masz dobrze? Dziękuję. A, dziękuję is you. And if you say bad, bad so dobrze, or spaniale, dzięki, that basically means bad so dobrze means very good. Um, dobrze, dziękuję is thank you. If you say spaniale, you're basically saying you're excellent. And if you say ne adopsia, that means no good. It means you're having a bad day. And there's one word. If you say if you say yakshamash and if you go huyovo, basically you're saying to someone fucking shit. You don't want to say that to anyone, it's rude. Apparently if you do say that to a Polish the woman or anyone it's not good practice for that so yeah that's all the, the phrases i know for portuguese and polish that um i was taught at the hotel i was taught many more but i'm not going to share those with you because they're rude and obviously this is a family friendly vlog so i hope you enjoyed that little Portuguese and Polish lesson and I will catch you next week. Goodbye for now.